we go. It's all good. Uh, it. <laughs> it is called X Defiant. It is uh, the new Ubisoft IP that got announced today. Um, well, not announced, but it had its uh, gameplay reveal drop today. Um, if you watch my stream, you'll be able to hear and see the uh, footage. It's literally just Tom Clancy's X Defiant Worldwide Reveal. A 6v6 shooter, uh, apparently fast-paced, punk rock style shooter. And it has all the characters from like Ubisoft games like uh, Sam Fisher from the Splinter Cell. It's got the Ghost Recon people. It's got people from Division, like the Cleaners like, and yeah. that lot. So it looks like a pretty decent game. I've only seen games. like seconds of clips and like screenshots. So, Let me make so. myself abundantly clear. If Ash's fat ass isn't in this game, I ain't playing it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I th just need to turn the sound back up because I did turn it down when we. I'm actually hyped for this game too. I'm not I gonna am, lie. Like from what I've seen, I've never cool. even heard about it before today. I right, didn't okay. either. I got on Twitter and it was trending. I, I, I I it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen a little bit of it, yeah, but that's I about it. I heard about it yesterday, but here we go. Okay. I like that intro. Uh, they said it's supposed to be punk rocks kind of style. We're excited to share a first look at a project we're developing like, at Ubisoft That's more fast paced than any other Ghost Recon game. On a multiplayer first person he vaulted like in a second. And find out what you think. Our goal is to make a best in class shooter for you, the players. Shot in an abandoned warehouse. And have fun with your friends. It's fast paced firefights <laughs> meets punk rock mosh pit. We're proud to introduce our new game. Tom Clancy's His pants couldn't have gotten tighter. I like the way it's Your XD, yeah. Essential to help us make this game great. Later in this video, we'll tell you how to get involved. But first, we'll get into the action. Okay. This is a free-to-play, very graffiti shooter, combining realistic gunplay with free to play again. Classes. That one tap with that pistol reminds me. Those classes are represented in our game as factions. Each bringing unique gameplay and team dynamics. Okay. The tank. Action comes equipped with traits, Assault. abilities, and Ooh. an ultra to complement your playstyle Support. and the fact. Oh baby. Oh and sliding. Oh baby. Outcast healers. That was fucking sexy. Oh. Was that a Rebo dog? Oh man. We will go back to that. But I swear I saw a Rebo dog. <laughs> From this inspiration, we created new characters. Oh no. And gameplay. Our shooter. Bamboozle. Mirage. <laughs> and we'll continue to add to this That's like, yeah, division, sentry turrets, and healing. They've used little stuff they've used some division role, stuff in here as well. A great shooter, the gunplay has to be our top priority. This is what I was talking about before. Oh, yeah. let's see. A first person shooter player needs gunplay. Of authentic weapons and attachments. Who would have thought? Put a lot of care it's never Ubisoft. You remember Rainbow Six Siege on release? Oh, buddy. For precise, satisfying gunplay. Oh my god. Players can mix and match any faction and weapon loadout. You can swap at respawn to adapt to a changing battlefield. Personalize your faction and loadout to be what you need when you need it. That kind of gives me like a division blast. We are a shooter first. And your abilities and ability? unique opportunities to set up nail biting shootouts and unforgettable clutch plays. So you're gonna have all true abilities, so this is like more like Overwatch. Kind of. Yeah, Overwatch is the Why the fuck are there so many shields? A whole new There's a lot of shields. As, as it said at their tank earlier, We're so basically it's just a guy with a shield. So and I couldn't be more proud of our incredible team. Like he's going to be like the breacher, the entry person, so he's obviously going to just pop a shield or something. Hey, why am I not in this fucking video testing this fucking game? <laughs> bang my line, Ubisoft! Because you didn't bang their line. game based on fair play and transparency, whether you're playing casually or pushing yourself competitively. Ooh. So they've got some ideas for competitive. As soon as possible to register right now. Participate in our early they won't lessons. make it to a competitive. Right then, yeah, yeah, yeah. chat and let's... No, I definitely won't. If, if Valorant's yet to take off competitively, this game will never reach that. Yeah, this game could kick off competitive so much. It's a Tom Clancy's, the people are gonna be... 
Because just having the name Tom Clancy there for one could get it going in esports. <laughs> now, first thing I want to no, do. No, no, no. That's a conversation for later, but no. Yeah, no, but first thing I want to do. Where was it? Robot dog! There is a robot dog! I was right! There robot dog! Robot. <laughs> Holy crap! Everything's got robot dogs! <laughs> I... I had to check. I'm That's excited for it, I think. Nice screenshot, though. It is. We could use I this as a has... nice good thumbnail. Just... We definitely could. We definitely you know what? Could. Go ahead and get your screenshot. I've just got my screenshot. <laughs> okay. But head ass, here's here's my quick review on it because this really there's not enough context in this trailer to really yeah. put something out there. I I'm gonna need more. But so far, I said I don't want to be cartoonish looking, and it's not. Number two, shields not a bad idea as long as they're breakable or there's EMPs or there's something around them, which uh, looks or, like or, or a very good cooldown. So I think I saw an EMP. I'm cool with it. Gunplay? The yeah, gunplay yeah. looks good, but it almost looks, it looks X and Y, -ish, if that makes sense. Like, the recoil kind of looks, it looks it reminds like it's being me done of on a con controller, in my opinion. Yeah, home there. front. Yeah, Real like, the, or like Warface. Like, that's kind of like what this would remind me of, like a bumped up version of Warface. Um, overall, not bad. Uh, I honest, honestly, I'm going to put this. Out of the three we've uh, watched this week, I'm going to put this at two. I think this has a lot of potential, although no one's going to run at people like that. That's complete bullshit. I've been playing yeah. FPS too long to know. Um, but the specialist abilities is what scares me. The shields. Yeah, like there, it kind of completely the, saved from an explosive as well without breaking. Uh, the the minus drop balance turns. The shield a bit. You know, that kind of stuff. Meh, but and and on the on the front of competitive, even though it has Tom Clancy's in it, the only good competitive Tom Clancy game that anyone's ever played that I can recall is Siege. And Siege, there's is... your EMP grenades. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what I was trying to find. Siege is holding on by the skin of its teeth. I don't know how it's held on for so fucking long, but. Well. There is the link to get involved if you want to try and beat it and test this game out. Get involved. Sign up at playxdefiant.com. In, in like my opinion, dude, I'm afraid that it's going to be more like a version of Overwatch. Like you saw all the uh the classes that you guys can use. Like you got your tanks, and then you got the people behind it, and like I you don't want—I don't want it like an Overwatch themed game. Yeah, I think that's what the actual idea is. When uh, the IGN post did state that it's like Overwatch and Call of Duty. In On that this aspect. topic, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing for FPS. I mean, even with like and I like think, Rogue, yeah, that having like Rogue Company, you know what I mean? Like yeah. that had its special. I think FPS right now, in my opinion, is so fucking boring. You have decent shooters and terrible shooters. There's no great shooters. Like for me, yeah. Valorant is the top of the list for me, kind of. It's up there in the in the I like to play or like to watch people play it. You know, but like, how much more Warzone can we put down our throats? How much more yeah. wash, rinse, repeat Call of Duty can we fucking digest? This at least adds something where there might be a skill gap because God knows there's no skill gap in Cold War. It's fucking terrible. The skill-based matchmaking has it to where you're either getting shit on or you're going positive. You have a couple good games, but nothing crazy here. You know, there could be a skill gap, and maybe, just maybe, we could be talking about a decent FPS. Yeah, for me, I like... Um, I so, dude, mind. that would save it. Like, honestly, like, recently, dude, the first-person shooters, like you were saying, dude, it's all about skill-based matchmaking. Maybe this won't use skill-based ma uh, uh, matchmaking. I, in my opinion, skill-based isn't like the end-all, be-all death of it. I think there should be some tunes and fine-tunes into it. Yeah. And I'm all about competitive gameplay. Like, I enjoy being challenged. But it just feels regurgitated. Everything feels the same. Like, nothing nothing has its own twist and tweak. And It's not like when Fortnite dropped. And it was like, oh my god, we have a 
third person shooter that's a battle royale that has building mechanics in it like yeah, people either loved that it or they pushed hated it. the boundary because it was like oh my god this is a brand new thing it was something new at the time yeah yeah like, exactly i hate fortnite but i'll be the first to tell you it broke the fucking wall for it broke the mold, it. mate it destroyed it yeah, it, it cracked the fucking code of something new. Like, even Hyperscape, if more people would have tried it and didn't just throw it away because it was a Ubisoft-based game, yeah. I think Hyperscape could have been a pretty, pretty Dude, solid game. I fucking loved Hyperscape. It's a, it's just, a very fast-paced, yeah. Even one thing Rogue I think, Company. Yeah, yeah I Rogue Company was good, too. One thing Hyperscape might need to have done is say it had, like, a rebirth mode like COD has done for Warzone. You can bring like, Hyperscape. Back. They just need a body. No, but that's what I mean. Like, I think they should have had it as like an actual rebirth kind of mode. Like, it's on a timer, and your your squad has oh, they get kills like and research. stuff. It reduces okay. your timer. So as long as someone's yeah. alive, your team keeps spawning back in, so you can keep that fast pace, just constantly throwing teams at each other. That's I think how Hyperscape could could have blown up. Literally we got rid of any kind of like gulag. Like you'll get kicked out unless everyone in your team's dead, and then you're out of the match. Or this if is my one last person survives and i think everyone yeah this is my last optophic conversation about this if people quit throwing games away because it's not call of duty or it's not fortnite or it's not what they want yeah and actually tried them people wouldn't be so bored people would still like gaming like i love playing rogue company in these other games it's oh yeah just, i love playing they don't this, gain traction as a Indian streamer style games as a streamer and a creator if it's not if you're not gaining traction, you got to go to something else. And I it's think not Warzone, what you're doing. Kind of. That's mm -hmm. kind of the feeling for the past like year. Viewers. I think it's this sad. right here, this right here, all right, this, this right, the customization in this game, I think would really, really, really put it up there. If like you can customize, yeah, your gun, customize guns, camos, got skins, yeah, uh, like the whole, the whole yeah, CSGO everything. did it. Yeah, I think if they get like brought CSGO yes. with like COD skins into it, oh yes, like the magic because like, like, obviously this is a free to play game. If they bring that all the skins and all this like that in as microtransactions and stuff like that, like COD has done and CSGO, like wow, they could make tons. If especially if the gunplay and gameplay is solid, and just keep it free to play and just microtransaction with this, oh mate. Yeah. Well, well, areas just dropped. There we go. <laughs> I just, didn't mean to. I uh, my mic was broken. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> but yes, hey. any last thoughts? I mean, it's gonna be the last little playthrough. You this, guys cause... mentioned customability and challenges. You want to keep a game alive right now, and you don't want to put it on a pay-to-play, like uh, skin packs and shit. Make challenges. Make it grind worthy. People, fucking Logic's buddy is grinding out shit and cross out. Okay, there's still. <laughs> psychopathic people out there that will grind your shit yeah introduce it put achievements it and stuff in there play. with nice funky rewards like i have an animated emblem or calling card or something well, nothing that's game breaking but something that's a nice hat tip and like can make someone feel well, like that's they the biggest thing that was achieved something prestigious with games with like customizability like that kind of stuff, for a free-to-play game i know it's not free to play but to last you you don't want to make it so Know, players that don't want to spend a shit ton of money can actually get it themselves by grinding and you know those people who want to spend money can spend it and get it faster but you want to make it accessible for everybody ubisoft is a big enough dev team and and racks in enough money to where there should not even be a quite like small companies i get why those things are there Right. I, I get it, but ubisoft's big enough we shouldn't even be having this conversation with uh, so yeah, for they me better not do it anyway. that's true that's true one thing I do actually want to point put into there as well is I don't have an issue with people paying to unlock stuff and things like that because if you've got more money than time and fair dues but I don't think that should be available right. for at least a grace period of like one, two, maybe three months from launch so that those people who do grind that stuff out still feel like it was worth it. They because worked for something. You could I agree with you that. play the game, you could grab the, the weapon out in one week. But that guy who's waited so he could buy the weapon has waited three months to get the weapon. You've been using that weapon for two months, shitting all over his ass till he's even touched that weapon. And something like that, like, because Battlefield, I think, does that, 
they re they do have their shortcut shortcut kits, but I'm pretty sure they don't drop on launch. They drop like when first DLC drops, like <clears throat> a few months into the game's life cycle, and then it's like oh they're announcing the first DLC or something. That's when like the up the upgrade shortcuts drop. No weapon so, packs in any major title should ever come with pre-attached kits. In my opinion, camos fine. Pre-attached, like, dude, there are blueprints that people will buy upon release of a gun in Call of Duty, put it in Warzone, and will fucking be like the Bruin when that game when it first came out. People was buying the fucking blueprint and beaming your ass. Yeah, that's what and I mean. And also, I, I think that blueprint camos, shouldn't have been available for a month, but after a month, yeah, fine, fuck it, buy the blueprint. Dark matter sucks ass in Call of Duty. The bot camos are better. Why even go for it when you can spend three ninety nine, or twenty bucks, or whatever the pack is, and get the badass reactive camo? Yeah. yeah. They fuck you. Welcome to welcome to microtransactions. What can you do? Microtransactions them. We're here to take your order. Yes. Yeah, any yeah, final yeah, thoughts from you, scary. Michael? You logic? Nope. I I just I'm gonna stick to what I said, dude. If if they come out with a good customization part of this game, dude, this game will be out there. That's that's my last words on it. Well, thank you all I'll for being with us, you. watching and enjoying the reveals with us. This one has been phenomenal. Uh, it has stirred up so much hype because it has just dropped out of the blue today. There was not much chatter about this at all, like 24 hours ago, and then just boom. Like We heard something a few months ago that Tom Clancy was working on a new IP. No one had any clue that this was God. This was what they were bringing to the table. So, like, subscribe, yeah, it's not very Tom share. Clancy. And this time, Ares, you can wrap us out of this video. Actually, you mentioned Tom Clancy, yep. You're right. This doesn't seem Tom Clancy, but for a new IP, I don't know. I think it might be worth something. Definitely second out of the three releases that we've watched with the Halo and uh, Battlefield. I'm hyped for it. I think it's going to be a pretty solid game. And inter I don't know if you noticed, interesting enough, Stadia? What's that mean for cross-platform? Am I going to be playing people that's playing on their fucking 72-inch Vizios? I guess we'll fucking find out. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, anyways, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow us on TikTok if you want to see the sexy beard. IG, Facebook, gaming, we're taking over next dynasty. Condor, sign us out. Catch you later, everyone.